Kentucky suburban bedroom mm -hmm. community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you say you want to get to Cincinnati? What what um what made you want to get into the Cincinnati government? Well, I got into government because I had been working for a long time with a lot of community groups and neighborhoods. Um, I was a community organizer when I started out. You know, a lot of people assume that if you're in politics, you're an attorney or something like that, which I am not. I actually started out as a community organizer, and um, I figured that the best place I could actually make a difference for the people that I was working with was by being on city council. It's pretty fantastic. I read through your things that with the, the women's uh, rape crisis mm -hmm. center and all, mm -hmm. all that stuff. I think all this stuff is, I mean, I know people who are you know, turning 32, 33, and they're just now deciding to get a job. You know, and like you, you, you helped establish all these groups and, and work with, with all these things. And, like, it really makes me feel really terrible about myself, you know? And also, think less of other people on that. I don't think, that, that's, I don't think you should do that. I think that we all have our callings and our gifts. I just happened to be hyperactive and really focused when I was very young. It kind of shows. It, like, if you look at the things, wow, you know, that's, who else would, I don't know. I don't know any of those who would have that kind of... Well, the other thing also is, is that I needed a job. Did you just fucking hit me? Yes. <laughs> There's a camera right on you, dude. I'm, I'm, to get your attention. I apologize. That's it's okay. But anyway, so what I did... I actually, I needed a job. Actually, that's why I started my career so early. I needed a paycheck. I needed money. Oh, so, I yes. feel you. I feel you. You were um, you were married to in 1998, and all this is really different in 1998. We, you know, when, this is the second time you and I have actually sort of kind of talked. The first time was in maybe the late summer of 1998, and I worked at and lived in a place at 621 Main Street called the Fort Washington Hotel. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, it was a. You say it. You can say it. An interesting place. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, I was I was I was out front smoking with the fellows, you know, and you were walking by with another gentleman, talking about something, and this guy pops, who I'm certain by now is passed away. He his job. What he did for a living was sell bootleg VHS tapes at Finley Market when Finley Market could sell bootleg VHS. Which you put in the 90s, yes. Yeah. And um, that was Pop's job. And I'm pretty sure it was Pop that walked up and hey, uh, started talking to you. And I said, well, hello to you. And you were like, mm, hello. And we were trying to just kind of get past this this place with these, all these horse flies were all over the place. <laughs> so I assume you're pleased with the current state of of things versus 15 years ago. Well, I think that where we're at right now is uh, where we were hoping we would be. You know, it was taking a lot of effort. When you left office as mayor, did you see, foresee this happening? What I foresaw was that with all the energy, when I left office, Main Street was beginning to really, really happen. Vine Street, nothing on Vine Street was happening. Yeah. But we were putting in place all the things to make it happen in terms of just the money and the partnerships and the organizations that were needed. Yeah. It, it's, are there any... Um... And attracting entrepreneurs like John Francois over there. Right here. Yes. It's so all going to go on. Yes. I'm going to Belgian lawyer of this man. Well, I don't know if he's speaking Belgian. Oh, he's going to be at my next guest up here, and I, he's, he's going to tell me some things. <laughs> are there any other neighborhoods that spring to mind that are in need of like, emergency overhaul, do you think? Well, we have a lot of neighborhoods that are actually following in the footsteps of Over the Rhine. You know, if you actually go up to Walnut Hills or up to Madisonville or College Hill, no, no, no. big things are happening. <laughs> You've never been out there? I've been there. I don't, well, see, if you want to be there, you have there. to go to the neighborhoods. Oh, I'll go there. Mm -hmm. I'll go there. If, 
<laughs> if I'm mayor, then yeah, I'll do all that crap. But it's like, Basically, just before you're mayor. Yeah, I'll do all that crap that you were saying. But the, um, yeah, just me as a guy. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know really, but I had to go, I just recently, I'll tell you. The, I recently sold my car and I had to drive it up to the guy because he didn't have a car. And, uh, so he emailed me about buying his car. You know, other things. About his car. And um, so I had to take the bus back from this guy's house. This guy lives in college. So I had to take the bus back. I just I live right over here on 8th Street. Mm -hmm. And um, you talk about a heroin bus stop experience. <laughs> you know, college, you know. I was in college. <laughs> you know. It, anyway. All that stuff I can see, yeah. Clean this place up. But <laughs> are there any neighborhoods you go to and you're just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we just gotta bulldoze this. I forget about it. <laughs> like scorched earth policy. I don't think that's a really good approach. I'm not saying I do that as mayor, but <laughs> We spend a lot of time working with a lot of communities mm -hmm. because they all feel very, um, they all feel very attached to their neighborhoods. Yeah. Say, what about Elmwood Place? You ever look at that fucking one? Yeah. Part of Elmwood. <laughs> you ever look at Elmwood Place? No, Elmwood Place is not part of the city of Cincinnati. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can pretty much give them cyanide pills or whatever. We make a board. I'm not saying so you do that. Really should not. I would not do all that as mayor. <laughs> I would build a wall there at the, at the end of Vine Street. Well, see, that's why, you, why, that's why you have this talk show mm -hmm. and are not running for mayor. <laughs> I don't, I don't like a lot of other neighborhoods except the neighborhood where I live in. I'm not saying the other ones are bad, I and mean, if I lived in them, you know, I would probably like it. Anyway. My rent's really high over here. Where do you live on your street now? I live at 8th and Main Street. Okay. I'm very, very poor. <laughs> so, what, who's on the southeast corner? Mm, God no. The uh, other one, the, the other one. You know the Algen Retro Furniture or something? Yes, I do know where it is. I love the Algen Retro Furniture. The, um, do they actually make money in that show? <laughs> I have always had my suspicions. I, 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 I looked out that window one time and I was like, I'm going to come down. I'm going to get some back door on. But anyway, my rent's real high. And I'm trying to get a, a part-time job. So if I put you down as a personal reference, is that... You know, lots of people ask me to be the personal reference and I always say yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, I was waiting for you to say but in this case. Alright, cool. Man. Thanks. Well I'm gonna do that. And I'll use this experience as an example of I'm nice. I'm most I'm using that. Well I was gonna say, um I said about my car, I sold it to the man in color Oh, uh, because it cost me more to park it than it was uh than I ever used it. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so there's a parking issue. Yep. Uh, what is the issue? Well, the issue is is that some people don't want us to lease the parking meters in some of our garages and mm -hmm. make ninety-two million dollars on it, as well as get an annual payment of three million dollars for those. That seems like a lot of money that you could do a lot of stuff with. It's a lot of money we could do a lot of stuff with. We could invest in a lot of development and we can also bridge the budget deficit so we don't have to lay off costs and buy and replace and okay,